Eric attended Philadelphia's University of the Arts. Good morning to you, Eric. Good to see you. Good morning, Natasha. Good to see you as well. Yeah, we're so happy to have you on the show this morning to talk about one of my favorite shows ever, most inspiring shows, and most uplifting. I mean, just so many words to describe it. So what will it be like for you, most importantly, just getting to perform in front of a hometown crowd? Oh, my God. I am so excited. It has been about 10 years since I've lived in Philadelphia, and it's going to be fantastic to get a chance to roam around my old stomping grounds, you know, be right across the street from my old alma mater and, uh, you know, see some of my old colleagues and professors. <laughs> Taking a little Philly love. <laughs> I love that. Absolutely. Well, you know, you are an ensemble member of the cast, of course, of so the music in this show. It's spectacular. It's always been so popular. It won a Tony for Best Musical, of course. So do you have a song or a favorite moment in the show that you can describe for us? Oh my God, there are so many amazing moments and songs that are throughout this show. Uh, I have to say one of my favorite uh, moments to sing throughout the show is actually the opening of the second act. The song is called One by One. It is sung completely a cappella, so all you hear are our voices, and it's sung completely in Zulu. So it's um, one of those moments where uh, the beauty of the South African culture and the magic of Disney come together and it is truly transformative. Um, in terms of like my favorite moment in the show, it would have to be a section that we call the apparition, which if you remember from the cartoon is that moment where we see Mufasa's face in the sky. <laughs> well, we do that live on stage and it is absolutely breathtaking. Wow, we are looking at some of the images from the show right now. It really is a breathtaking show, just phenomenal in every way, from the music to the singing to the, the acting. What do you hope the experience will be like for theater goers who have never seen the show before? Well, for those who have never seen the show before, this is actually one of the best ways to get yourself into theater and into musical theater. Um, the show is even though people think of it as a show for young people, it's actually a show for all ages. There are so many um, amazing messages that can be taken away from the show, especially right now in a time where we are going through a lot of um, a lot of othering that's going on in our nation and a lot of um, division. This show is all about community and uh, like finding the love with uh, your fellow man and one another. So I think that everybody who comes to see this is going to find something out of it. Wow. Well, I cannot wait because I want to see it again and again. I could see it over and over again. That's how inspiring and lovely it is. So, Eric, thank you so much. We're going to be cheering you on here in Philly and good to have you home. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. Okay. Take care. I'll see you soon. Well, Disney's The Lion King runs at the Academy of Music from August 16th until September 10th. Be sure to check it out.